calm down, relax, get it, get, get it together. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. Today's video is all about skincare. I'm going to be showing you guys my um, basic daytime skincare routine. So, if you're interested, keep watching. So, I'm basically just going to get right into my skincare routine. And the first step you always want to make sure you complete is to wash your hands. I cannot stress this enough. Your face will break out so easily from you touching your face with dirty hands. There's germs on everything. You don't want them on your face. So, keep your hands off your face and make sure they're clean when you need to touch your face. Next, you want to go right in and wet your face with lukewarm water. You don't want your water to be too hot while washing your face because that can irritate your skin, especially if your skin is sensitive. Then you're going to go right in with your cleanser. And the cleanser I use is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I really love this cleanser because I have dry skin. It's very hydrating. I feel like this cleanser is good for all skin types, even oily. You know, just because your skin is oily doesn't mean you don't need to keep it hydrated. So this is definitely a good cleanser to have in your rotation. It claims to remove dirt, oil, makeup. I can attest to that. It's fragrance free. A lot of issues with my skin, I think, have come from fragrance in products. I don't know why a skincare product needs to smell good, but that breaks me out. So I try to stay away from products that have fragrance. If you know me, then you know I have struggled with my skin for years. I will say it all started in maybe like sophomore year of high school skin just broke out i don't know why i'll even insert pictures to show you guys how far i've come along i eventually went on this medication called accutane that journey is a whole nother video okay so after cleansing i like to go right in with my rose water toner this is from the heritage store i usually order mine from amazon usually about $12. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that the cleanser, you can get this at Target for $11.99. This toner is the bomb. It is also a hydrating toner. It says it's for dry to combination skin. It tones and refines pores. It's vegan and cruelty free, free of dyes and alcohol. Anytime I have a breakout, if my skin is feeling really dry, if it's feeling irritated, this always brings my skin like back to a calm like calm down relax get it get, get it together started using this toner maybe like two years ago and it's helped so much with like my hyperpigmentation especially on my cheeks i think moisture is really a secret to fighting hyperpigmentation now this next product is something i have recently added to my skincare routine the Rose Galore Hydrating Healing Solution from Moon X Cosmetics. When I tell you this product, along with all of Moon X Cosmetics products, they're so hard to get. Once she restocks, it sells out so, so, so fast. But luckily, I have been able to obtain about three bottles of this, and I plan to keep getting them, okay, because I need this to be permanently a part of my skincare routine. And it says to apply to dry toned skin, rub in upwards motion, use twice a day. I do use this twice a day. I use it at morning and night. This oil here is honestly the reason for the glow you see today. I almost can't even put it into words, but it's like a drastic change since I have been using this product. There were so many stubborn, spots here i still have a few that need some work and some new ones over here as well there were so many spots left even after being on accutane and this product is just erasing them even when i have like a bump 
or like a cut scrape or anything on my face this heals it like almost overnight get get, get you some of this get you some rose galore okay rose galore does go for fifty dollars fifty five cent for this size for this two ounce bottle it's kind of an expensive product but like i said it works so i plan to keep using this and I suggest that if you have issues with hyperpigmentation, dry skin, if you have large pores, acne, this should, this should do some things for you. Last but not least, sunscreen. Let's talk about sunscreen real quick because a lot of people that look like me think they don't need it. But you do if you want to see some progress with your skin yeah as far as sunscreen there are, i have two go-to's the first sunscreen that i've used and i've liked to use is the fenty skin hydrovisor and what i like about this product is it's refillable so when you first purchase it you've purchased like this outer shell and then you purchase the cartridge inside with the product this product is at Sephora for $35. If it's your first time buying it, you'll need to buy the the case and the refill cartridge. Or if you already have it, just get the refill cartridge for $30. You're good to go. My second sunscreen option is also something I've added recently because I haven't been able to get my hands on it. I finally restocked this in Target and Ulta. So now... I know for facts I can go to those two stores and get this product. This is the Black Girl Sunscreen Moisturizing Sunscreen Lotion for Face and Body. Broad Spectrum SPF 30. No white residue. I forgot to mention that about the Fenty um, Skin Hydrovisor. This also does not leave a white residue. I know that's something people of color struggle to find. You know, a good sunscreen that does not leave the white residue. I know I struggled to find it, but I found this one and I also found Black Girl Sunscreen. I actually heard about this from some estheticians on Twitter. One of them is Makeup for Women of Color and LA Beautyologists. Follow them on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you can find them. Here on YouTube if you need any skincare tips because they know what they're talking about. I'm just a girl who follows advice. I'm not a dermatologist. Let's put that out there. Okay, and I am not an esthetician. Let's put that out there. I'm just a girl who found a thing, I found a routine that works for her. So I'm just trying to put y'all on game. Sunscreen is also very important if you're trying to treat any type of scarring, hyperpigmentation. Just overall, if you want to protect your skin. The sun, is, the sun is sunning, okay? It's hot, it's beaming that we yes we are you know melanated you need sunscreen okay if you have hyperpigmentation that you feel like just won't go away dark spots or whatever you need to be wearing sunscreen every single day it needs to be a part of your skincare routine and that's the thing i like about these two products i just use them as moisturizers so i almost don't have an option whether to use sunscreen or not if i don't use it my face will literally be ashy so that's why these are such good products because you get your SPF your face is moisturized no white residue next thing you know your skin gonna be glowing y'all think I'm lying and I'm not you guys that is the end of my skincare routine it's pretty basic there's only one two three four products okay quick and easy and you'll glow I do want you guys to be on the lookout for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share all that. Help your girl out.